Hey guys, and welcome back to another part of my Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door playthrough. And in the last part, we found out that we need to get, get we need to go to the far outpost, and we need to negotiate with the bombs so we can use their cannon to shoot to the moon. So, what do you say we kick off chapter 7 by going down this pipe? Alright, we're on our way to get our 7th crystal star. Can't believe it's here already. Mario shoots the moon. Alright. Alright, so typical we have an ice world. Well, I guess I would... Nah, it's an ice world. It's cool. You got ice enemies and they're all annoying. And yeah, it is stupid cold, so I don't deal with the cold. If you ground pound over here, you can get yourself a star piece, which is always nice. But, what we want to do, well first off, I want to get to Bella because we have some new enemies in this area. So, let's go ahead and come over here. And right here, uh, there, yeah. enemy right there, of course. Right where I couldn't even see it. Alright, let's do a spin jump on this D. Cause I have no idea how much HP this jerk has. But I believe these things are called ice buffs. Let's see. Yeah, ice buffs. So cool. These things are just like regular puffs, except they have ice and you can't. And they have like a little blizzard attack. When they charge up, you can't jump on them unless you have the ice power badge on like that because if you try to eat the whole moment are you kidding me are you kidding me are you kidding me <sighs> are you kidding me of course of course when I bring it up that's when it happens I mean I mean that's just how it that's just how it's always gonna be Try to buy on an enemy, and you talk about what it can do, and it ends up doing it to you, and then you can't guard against it because you know, let's play curse, hate you. It's just like, and to make it even worse, since I can't defeat them, they all have that little crap, and I forgot to stock up on Thunder Rages. I'm screwed, dude. Dude, seriously, dude. Dude, get out of here. Hi, man. What the fuck? Alright, let's go ahead and use Rally Wink and give Mario another turn. And I failed that miserably. So we're gonna use Earth Trimmer again. That is some cheap as Alright. Cause I do not want to deal with these guys at all. I don't even need to max this out, but I'm gonna try to do it anyway. Because I don't know. Oh what? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I was sitting up here looking at my computer. But whatever. They're done for. Alright. And we're actually close to a level up. Wow. I think I'm gonna... Ooh, we got an ice storm. Nice. If you jump over here... Did I already get the shine sprite? There should be like a shine sprite behind this tree. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Jump behind that tree and you get a shine sprite. And right here we have some more puffs. No big deal. They're not hard to take down at all. Especially if you use spin jump, they go down particularly easy. Let's go ahead and use multi bomb on this guy. Take him down, Goombella! Yeah! Yeah! That was a beast combo. I don't know nothing about that combo. That combo status 
and one more battle and we should be leveling up here real soon. And right here you got Navi Starfish. Now let's come over here and get into our second enemy that we can find here, which is a Frost Piranha. These are just like the other Piranhas, well mostly like Putrid Piranhas because Putrid Piranhas can uh, they can like spit out, po well not poison, but they can spit out ice, whereas putrid piranhas can like do poison, things of that nature. Well actually, let's go ahead and use one of these maple syrups, because I need it. A super hammer uses up quite a bit of FP, not even enough. Oh yeah, you wish. You need to take damage from me anyway, son. And I forgot the towel on these motherfuckers. Alright, whatever. Let's go ahead and use piercing blow on this guy. Yeah! Yeah! What a great way to end that off. Dude, are you serious? Dude. Dude. Really, dude? Dude. I'm trying to put on the show for you, and you, you just over here trying to throw hammers and crap at me like, dude, come on. Alright, we got Frost Piranha. This thing can be annoying if it hits you, I swear. You will rage. I promise you. You will rage. Let's go ahead and use Piercing Blow again. And he's down. And with that, folks, we level up, which is always nice. Let's go ahead and upgrade that FP to for real. And I think with this level, we actually get a bigger stage. Yup, we get a bigger stage. And I guess I'll show that off in the next battle. Shit. Yeah, we can show that off in the next battle, definitely. Alright, let's pull out Yoshi. Is there anything in this area I can't remember? Oh yeah, get spun. Get spin jump on the sun. Alright, off screen I went ahead and took care of those two enemies so they wouldn't buy- Oh, there's another one! Oh, why not? I guess I'll show this fight. Why not? Alright. Let's go ahead and use gold on these two dudes right here. Let's go ahead and use multi bounce. Do quite a bit of damage to all these dudes. Oh, are you kidding me? Dude, I'm pressing A. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Uh, great, 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 great. Ah, uh, great. Wait, who's throwing something to me? Oh, somebody gave me a coin. I'm about to say I was about to rage hardcore. You don't even know. Oh my god. And those two go down. Oh, come on, man. I can't really do anything against that guy, so I'm just gonna defend the Yoshi. Oh, at least he didn't freeze. What the heck is wrong with Yoshi? Oh, he's stupid still. Whatever. Alright, and that fight is over. Alright. I did not know there was another enemy over here. Alright, but anyway, we get a HP plus badge. And if you come behind here, there's a star piece for you. So let's go ahead and head in town. So this, my friends, is Fair Outpost. Get it? Fahrenheit, Outpost, Fair. It's cold as shit, whatever. Alright, if you look right there, there was a star piece. Alright, so, we have to find this cannon, because that's what we need to get to the moon, and as you saw in that little cutscene, there's like a star piece over here, yep, 
Alright, so let's just ignore all these blue bombs for right now, and those are the triplets. The triplets, alright. Now let's come into the main area of town. Right here we have a save block and this afro dude. Dude is everywhere. If we spin jump somewhere over here, we should get a star piece. Where is it? Ugh, I can't find it. Crap. I know there's a spin jumpable thing over here, right here. Have a shine sprite. I think that might be the last shine sprite in the game. I can't even remember. Ah, oh, there it is. Come on, Yoshi. And right here, you get yourself a star piece. And let's go inside here. You know what we have inside here? We actually have a star piece right here. Awesome. And we're gonna be coming into this cabin a bit later on, but I wanna go ahead and go in the shop and get a couple things. Oh, they have shooting stars. Nice. Oh, they have. Oh, they got. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna stock up on a couple items. Alright. Let's get couple of these, you know what I'm saying, let's get three of these motherfuckers, alright, so, let's come over here and get some maple syrups, cause those are always good, baby, alright, I don't really need mushrooms, though, but, let's go ahead and talk to this guy, cause he seems to know something about a cannon, right, what, a cannon, no such thing is here, what? You have a statue of a cannon, bro. Who you want me to say? We don't have one. You know, this dude is like a stubborn mule. Like, come on. Alright. Let's go ahead and switch to Bobby and talk to him again. What? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? Now listen here. You're the mayor. Mm -hmm. How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so don't lie. Shush, you call yourself a bob -omb. I spit at you. You know the rules. There is to be no mention of cannon to non bob -omb's. No mention. You must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm. Oh, world could end. Hmm. Well, you cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use the cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Oh, okay. Circumstances? You must have permission of Goldbob to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to faraway places. Once he got rich, he let business slide and just not start it up again. Also, General Wright had, was the one who devoted himself to the operation of cannon. Oh boy, here we go. General White. And that's gonna be like my main gripe with the beginning of this chapter. Now Gold Bob, he's alright. We know Gold Bob. He's cool. He's pretty cool. But General Right General White Ooh, wow, I can't talk. That guy is a jerk. And we have to find him because he's not here. So, what we gotta do is, we gotta do a crap ton of backtracking, oh yeah, you guessed it. But, we're gonna handle that in the next part. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, please come back for more, and if you found it helpful, also, please come back for more, and I will see you guys later.